in a gate. And they're off. Coffee, please. Out of the gate first. Here's Top Hat Scrutiny set up on the inside with that early speed. Top Hat Scrutiny. A favorite going to the lead and the rail in that first turn run. Coffee, please. Now settles back in the second spot. Another two and a half more, and it's Indian Ghost on the inside. And Voodoo Valley. Voodoo Valley now just in third. Indian Ghost settles back in fourth the rail. Haiku travels fifth early on. And then it's back to Rock and Run and Five Star Perfect in the back. Moving now. Down the back stretch with Top Pat Scrutiny. Just at an easy pace out there. Top Pat Scrutiny leads about a length from Coffee Please second. And the outside Voodoo Valley. Indian Ghost is kept close out of the inside there. Just three from the lead now. Two and a half. Indian Ghost going to make a move with five furlongs left to go. Just a couple lengths off of Top Pat Scrutiny as they bunch a little on the front end. Then it's Haikus. Five lengths to close in now. Back to five star perfect. And Rock and Ron needs to roll now. Heading into the far turn, Ron. Top hat scrutiny. The pressure is on on all sides. Up the inside now comes Indian Ghost. And Charlie Marquez sends Indian Ghost right on through down to the rail. Top hat scrutiny battles but drops back as Voodoo Valley is now second. Coffee pleases in third. Top hat scrutiny continues to retreat. Then it's Rock and Ron on the outside of Haiku. And five star perfect trailing the field with a quarter of a mile left to go. Indian Ghost, Indian Ghost ridden along as they turn in, opening up two and a half lengths on Voodoo Valley second, and Coffee Please just an even pace third down to the last furlong. Indian Ghost kept a task to the chasing Voodoo Valley, who's three lengths behind. A 16th left to go now. Indian Ghost and Charlie Marquez, a rail skimming ride to roll home. Indian goes to win, going away by five at the finish. Voodoo Valley was second. Rock and Ron did a get up for third in Haiku and Coffee, please. They are in the gate. And they're off awkward beginning there for perfect exchange. It was last away. Third card down, moving up on the inside of Samard Shenanigan. So Samard Shenanigan and third card down. They're going to contest early with determined mission on the chase from third position. Chicken dinner down to the rail. Another four or five lengths back and a slow starting perfect exchange is last. Third card down sets the tempo and neck from Samard Shenanigan. Tight quarters for Chicken Dinner, who's eager to go but has to tap on the brakes there. In the meantime, clear sailing for determined mission out the three path as they go to the half mile pole and perfect exchange only five from the speed into the far turn run. It is third card down, Samard Shenanigan ahead behind on the outside, and Determined Mission up three deep in Chicken Dinner, still just in behind the trio, and they're followed by Perfect Exchange trailing the field. Midpoint on the turn. On the inside, third card down, digging down, but on the outside, Determined Mission has the momentum. Chicken Dinner swings to daylight, has to come widest of them all, can wait no more. Chicken Dinner on the far outside there. Chicken Dinner on the far outside, Determined Mission now head to head for that last 3 16ths of a mile. Third card down in Samard. Mud shenanigan four across the track. Chicken dinner kept a task out the center of the track. Now shifting over to the inside under right-handed urging. Chicken dinner and Daniel Centeno. He's an even money winner. Chicken dinner. Chicken dinner to do it by two and a half lengths. Some Samard shenanigan determined mission and third card down. Minute 19.
Serbe. And they're off. Clean beginnings. Survey on the outside. Man up dude in between horses on the inside is Prayer. Hope is right there too early on. And then Orange Punch who travels in fourth. Followed by Kendamon is next. And then it's Ready Reward racing a bit off that drill. And Super E racing back of the pack with Zen Pai. And Call Me Plucky has to pass them all now. Some 17 off that pace up ahead. Good pace going as Man Up Dude takes off of the front at a length and a half in front. From Prayer Hope is an eager second in the outside. And Survey is in the clear in third position. Orange punches in fourth at a gap of five. Kendama another break back. And it's Ready Reward and Super E. Call me plucky now is one beaten. That is Zen Pai at the tail of this group and some 18 lengths on that pace up ahead. It's still a good clip up front, but Prayer Hope can wait no more. Here's Prayer Hope on the outside now taking off toward the center of the course of the lead. Man up due to the inside tries to battle on back and Orange Punch is in third position. Survey is back fourth now and Kendam on an even clip into the far turn run. They're followed by Ready Reward. Ready Reward is ridden along in between horses. Super ease one widest of them all trying to move up from the back of the pack. Here's Call Me Plucky still a dozen lengths off that leader. Man Up Dude who's come back for more. Man Up Dude. Prayer Hope has gone off the scene on the extreme outside. Super E the picture changes and Kendama's right there too. Kendama Super E and now Call Me Plucky from dead last has moved into third. Has a furlong to catch Kendama out of the inside. Super E digging on the outside. They're head to head with Call Me Plucky on the far outside. Super E Super E and Kendama Kendama, Kendama, Kendama one. Kendama from Super E, then call me plucky. Ready reward, followed by Man Up Dude. Lined up. And they're off. I've got a plan. Gets the first call out of the gate. Fast Master. And also calls to celebration is close to determined pursuit of the far outside. Now Fast Master will settle back in fourth. Ludicrous mode. Alongside of that one in fifth. Potitek Ashaka is next. And Toe Curlin Kiss is the gray racing well off that inside into the first turn run. Bats Chance has passed that one. And so now too has War Lance. And they're followed by Eastport back of the pack with Senor Seville trailing the field now. And about 17 lengths of that front runner. I I've got a plan who leads the way up front. I've got a plan from cause for celebration by two and a half lengths and determined pursuit on the outside and third fast master is fourth as they bunch. The pace is very slow here. Bats chance now in between horses within three lengths of the lead. Ludicrous mode racing water to them all. But to take a shock of then war lance to the inside is Eastport only about eight lengths off that lead and toe Carolyn kiss and trailing the field is Senor Seville heading into the far turn. Bats chance first to take a crack there, and I've got a plan. The outside is cause to celebration right there, too. Into the far turn run, three furlongs to go. Fast Master is racing fourth on the inside. War Lance is next in fifth, and a surging run from Toe Curl and Kiss from dead last on the far outside. Using a lot of energy is Toe Curl and Kiss coming widest and driving on the far outside is the gray with a pink blinker is into the stretch now. And it is cause for celebration. I've got a plan out of the inside. War Lance, Toe Curl and Kiss 
trying to sustain momentum. They're followed by Fast Master. Coster Celebration breaks away with a three-length lead. Toe Curl and Kiss closing on the outside with a steady gain. Now here comes Toe Curl and Kiss. Coster Celebration. Photo finish. Coster Celebration and Toe Curl and Kiss photo tight. Warlance was third, then Fast Master and Parateka Shaka. And they're off. Run on the outside. Tap dancing girl for between horses. And Rika Chica firing up on the inside along with Queen of Tomorrow. So it is tap dancing girl, Queen of Tomorrow, and Rika Chica on the inside. Three of them by early. Here's Esther's Fortune traveling along in fourth. Rona back in fifth on the outside. And Candy Corner and Susie Sells Seashells. It trails now some six to seven lengths off the pace up ahead. Three way go up front. Rika Chica, Queen of Tomorrow in between horses. And tap dancing girl still right there. Into the far turn run. Rona is three lengths off them, racing in fourth position. Esther's fortune down to the inside. They're followed by the inside candy corner, is only three or four lengths off the lead. And Susie sells seashells, still last of them all. Midpoint on that turn. Queen of Tomorrow's been working hard the whole way. Rona roaring up on the outside. Rona at a big price now, coming to try to take the lead. Rona turns for home, a long shot leader now. Susie sells seashells, fires up from dead last on the far outside. Rona, Susie sells seashells, and Queen of Tomorrow trying to dig under a drive on the inside, but it's Susie Sells Seashells in the final furlong. Susie Sells Seashells is pouring it on now, opening up five, six, seven lengths on Rono's hanging on to second. Susie Sells Seashells to win from here to the seashore. Susie Sells Seashells to win a solid ten lengths at the end. Rono is second and Queen of Tomorrow, the Esther's Fortune, a tap dancing girl. In the gate. And they're off. 
Hair of the Dog out for the early lead. Here's straight out of Conkton the Gray showing up too early. Here's Palace Kid. Here's Palace Kid now and Hair of the Dog. They're head to head for the lead. In between horses is back charge now on the move. In between now third. Straight out of Conkton is in fourth and Fellow broke with him. It settles in in fifth. Matsuda is in sixth and Deaton over to the two path. Nick Nick Boom saves ground into the far turn run. Two true shipment is next. And then it is Be Determined and he's a winner with me. One more way back there. Find your Boaz. Coming to the top of the stretch. Long run into the second wire, and it's Palace Kid pushing on to an arrow lead from Hair of the Dog fighting on the inside. Out in the center of the track is back a charge in third, and straight out of Conkton to make four across the track for a long and a half from the line, and Matsuda travels in fifth. Late run on the inside from Be Determined. Be Determined coming now. Here comes Be Determined. Determined running between horses. Be Determined looks to split him in the last sixteenth of a mile. Determined running between for Victor Rosales on Be Determined. Be determined to get up from Hair of the Dog and straight out of Cuncton. And they're off. Good break for Cool Man Cletus. Save me, Paula will settle. Dirty Foot is right up there now. And there goes Dirty Foot. Dirty Foot now a narrow lead. Dirty Foot in front from Cool Man Cletus in second as they sort. And victory given out of the inside racing in third position. They also in the second flight. And Save Me Paula on the far outside. And Big Boots not far from the front and between horses. Save Me Paula now racing back of the pack. That's Dapper Mun who's moved up. So it is Dapper Mun now to contest Dirty Foot for the lead. Cool Man Cletus back in third. And victory given is in fourth. Big Boots is in fifth. Father's Luck is sixth out of the inside. And they are followed by Booby Trap, racing back of the pack now with Day and Save Me Paula. Around the far turn, three furlongs left to go. A dirty Foot, Dapper Mun there to the outside. Cool Man Cletus is in third. And victory given just in behind the lead in fourth. And Big Boots driven to the far outside in fifth. And then it's Father's Luck saving ground and Booby Trap. And they make the turn for home. Dapper Mun trying to set along now. The even terms of Dirty Foot. They're head to head for the lead center of the track is Big Boots. And here's victory given in between horses coming gamely to victory given victory given and dirty foot head to head with big boots chiming in late of the game on the far outside victory given and caramanus victory given from dirty foot to win it by a head big boots was third then it was booby trap and Dapperman.
in the gate. And they're off. Chilly Sky, very awkward beginning ride. It was briefly out of the eyes. Their trails. Glittering Judy firing out with early speed from Katarina One and China Silk at Epic Idea in that second group two. Margie Seven is right there as well. And Pink Pearl will settle on the outside. Mama's Great Ghost is now moving forward as they bunch right behind the leader. Into the far turn, Glittering Judy leads the way. Now Mama's Great Ghost is second. Epic Idea third of the inside. China Silk is in fourth. And on the outside is Pink Pearl who's racing in fifth position from between horses is a market money is next and Katarina one in between horses as well and Golden Can racing back of the pack Margie's Heaven drops back there with Midship Lady who's a lot to do now Midship Lady's trying to rally in between horses so the back of the pack there and Golden Can at the tail as well into the stretch about three sixteenths to run Glittering Judy is in front from Epic Idea who's charging hard on the outside Epic Idea Glittering Judy Epic Idea now got the head in front with a sixteenth of a mile left to go. Market money late on the scene and so midship lady too. Here's the line. Epic idea to win from Glittering Judy. Close third. In the gate, and they're off. Bravery fast away when my super Sally there and MJ's lady is up close to the inside and catch the sky settles deep on the outside. Cornetta's choice is next and bottle courage and patriotic punch down to the inside. Only five lengths will cover them. They're led by my super Sally. My super Sally moving along with a length and a half advantage now. On the outside is Bravery just in second and MJ's lady to the inside right up there close and patriotic punch has moved up to fourth and Cornetta's choice alongside of that one in fifth three more lengths to bottle courage and catch the sky is seventh and last pretty easy pace heading into the fire turn for the front runner my super sally leads it about a half length bravery now coming to put that pressure on cornetta's choice mj's ladies parked to the inside with run and patriotic punch racing in fifth position and catch the sky has five to make him now at three and a half furlongs left to go and dropping a last is bottle courage taking over his bravery bravery is now up top bravery from cornetta's choice driven the outside is patriotic punch mj's lady they're in between between horses now running on the daylight MJ's lady tipped in between horses now but in the meantime quarter of a mile left to go bravery's got the lead by two MJ's lady patriotic punch three chances into the stretch at the 316th pole it's bravery Sheldon Russell digging deep now and opening up on MJ's lady then patriotic punch approaching that last 16th bravery finishing off the job and getting it done to win going away it is bravery bravery by five at the finish patriotic punch in ahead nose bob there for second with MJ Jay's Lady tight for second, and then it was Cornetta's Choice.
Control. And they're off. Busted Hearts first away for the gate with Bath and Tennis showing early speed and Trixie's time firing up on the outside. Foggy Dream settles back and forth right off the three. Debt Dare's Gold is out of the clear. And then his dancer Stroll racing down to the inside as they charge for the far turn run. Between horses, stakes on a plane. is only four lengths from the speed. I love you. It'll be very wide into the far turn run and Princess Kilmaine back of the pack. Bath and Tennis now in front as they round that turn. Bath and Tennis from Trixie's time and Busted and Hart's third of the inside. Dat Dare's Gold is next. Just in behind him is Stakes on a plane. A little bit of traffic there. In the meantime, Dancer Stroll has cut the corner home. Quarter of a mile left to go. Bath and Tennis with a two-length lead and a charging Bustin' Hart's in second. Out of the center of the track is Foggy Dreams offering a late bid. Here, Foggy Dreams on the outside running into third now. Eighth of a mile left to go. Bath and Tennis, Foggy Dreams coming with a Run on the outside at Bath and Tennis. Bath and Tennis holding off Foggy Dreams for the moment. It's photo finish time. Photo, Bath and Tennis, and Foggy Dreams. And they're off. In him with him. Gets the first call out of the gate. Greek God's going to have that early speed, too, into the turn run. I wish I was special. Praise the moon in between horses in the second group of runners as they round the turn. Gypsum Johnny's on the outside. And back to Stolen Love is also in between horseless horses. Relentless Lion racing deepest out of them all. Only four and a half from the front. And Campari in the back of the pack. Greek God sets the tempo a length and a half from Gypsum Johnny second. In him with him is in third. Then to the outside there is Relentless line and between horses is stolen love. I wish I was special at the rail and praise the moon and Campari in the back. Only seven lengths from Greek God in control of the pace. Greek God five furlongs out from the line in front. Greek God is that leader in him with him and then on the outside is Gypsum Johnny still right there. Between horses is stolen love is in fourth. Relentless Lion. I wish I was special. I've got five to make up. Heading past that half mile pole now and it's Campari and dropping last is Praise the moon into the far turn run. And it's Greek God still the one to catch Gypsum Johnny. I wish I was special. Firing up with a run on the far right side. I wish I was special now. Coming right to even terms with Greek God and Gypsum Johnny in the three-way battle at the top of the stretch. They make the turn for home. A quarter of a mile left to go. And I wish I was special trying to carry on with it. Gypsum Johnny there still on the inside. And Greek God's back in third. Senate track is stolen love. Way out of the middle is Compar. Campari's coming on the run, too. Wide open affair for a long left to go. It's I wish I was special. Campari on the outside. In him with him. Right there, too. In him with him. Between horses. Very game and coming through. In him with him. In him with him. Campari. In him with him. In the winner's circle from Campari. I wish I was special in stolen love. And then Greek God. Minute 45.79 the time.